Hey guys, so just a, uh, today's vlog is just gonna be a little update of what uh, is gonna happen in the next few days. So, uh, I've mentioned before in one of my vlogs that I'm feeling rather achy in my top half of my body because uh, of the constant dancing every single day for the past week. Uh, I've been dancing at least three hours a day trying to train for this competition when it's uh, I'm not I'm I'm not young. I'm not at my prime age where I can do this every day. But uh, especially when uh, you have not been dancing for the past three, four years and then you're stand uh, you're starting again to dance and to compete. It's actually taxing on your body and uh, I, I, don't, I don't see it myself, but people have been mentioning it to me that I've been losing weight. Uh, I don't really see that I've been losing weight. I still feel really fat, <laughs> so I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, in two days, I'll be competing in Southern Friendly uh, up north in Bristol. Uh, it's one of the uh, competitions that runs, to, uh, runs up to uh, the national finals in Blackpool in three weeks. So we have Bristol this week. We have Cardiff next week, which I unfortunately I'm not going to uh, because of uh, issues with uh, partnerships. Because Cass can't do it. She has a family uh, event that she needs to go to. Uh, but I don't feel like I should. Uh, put myself through the stress of training with another partner just for one competition so I decided uh, I, I don't think it's worth the time to not uh, to do a competition without Kaz so I decided not to do that one so, and uh, finally in three weeks we have another one a weekend of competition in Blackpool which is really awesome I can't wait uh, the thing a bit about competitions uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned it is that that, it, that competition is really expensive to be part of. So uh, usually a competition that requires me to take a bus to go there would at least cost 30 pounds. Uh, so if I do all the competitions, uh, it would go up to like 300 pounds. And uh, the last one in Blackpool, uh, I heard a rumor that it's gonna be around 80 pounds because you have to go and sleep there so but it's going to be fun I'm, I just know it's going to be one hell of an event uh, it's going to be so much fun uh, yeah so tomorrow is the last day to train for uh, Bristol and uh, it's going to be this is the first time that I feel for a competition that I'm a little bit nervous for not, not a little bit, a lot nervous for and I feel I'm really really underprepared I've been dancing every single day for the past almost two weeks and I still feel that I'm not ready and I'm feeling very rusty and I'm, I'm, I'm my body is not doing good my legs are not doing what I want it to be I keep forgetting steps I keep forgetting my routine so I'm not really happy with the, the state of mind, the state of my body, the state of my dancing at the moment. So I, I, I am quite confident that I'm not going to do so well in this competition. Uh, I don't think I will get to, <laughs> to get to any of the finals, uh, let alone get placed in any of the dances. Uh, which is kind of pity. I think I tried hard, but it's just not working. Uh, quite unfortunate, but it's a lead up to Blackpool, so I just need to get my confidence up and train really hard for Blackpool. So hopefully, this is just a confidence booster of how I am doing at the moment. It's just it's just a step, so it should be fine. Uh, yeah. Saturday. Saturday is going to be fun, I just want to have fun, enjoy myself, dancing is fun, competition is fun. 
so hopefully I'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today. I'm just gonna give you a short update of what we're doing this, within this week. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you had a wonderful day. Did you? Always probably answer every life. Goodbye.